Hi, good day, tubes. Today we're going to do a simple fix on a five horse Briggs and Stratton. It, uh, it's hard to start. This is the one I replaced the rope on just a couple of days ago. And uh, once I got, you know, you don't know how they're going to run until you have the rope to pull. So once I got that fixed, I just noticed you had to pull the rope three, four, or five times before it would start. So I think what's wrong is that the uh, seal on the primer pump is leaking air. And we'll show you that when I take it apart. But first we'll do the small engine demo before and then we'll do one after. So here we go. I'm going to prime it three times or four times. So I'm actually not going to start it because I still want it to be in the same uh, condition after we fix it. So let's put it on the, uh, on the hoist. And we'll bring it over to the bench. So the gasket that we're replacing is a Seven nine five six two nine. So you'll have to order one of those. You'll have to get one of these. Magic! All right. So now we're going to take the air filter assembly off. Five sixteenths nut driver. filter of course. Now right in here there's three bolts. One, two, and three. So I'm trying to get this uh, done fairly quickly because my friend Gary is coming over to pick this up in about a half an hour. So I don't want to give him a lawnmower that's hard to start. So this should just pull away now. I've taken those three bolts off. You saw that? This should just pop off. Oh yeah, there's one more for the throttle cable. Just put that on there like that. So you don't lose it. So now on the back here, you should, oh, that's quite interesting. You see right there, there's a tear in the gasket. Right there, can you see that? So I'm just going to pull it away and we'll clean it up. It's a 20 year old gasket, right? This mower was made in 1995. There we go. So I'm just going to clean this up with a, uh, an old toothbrush. that together. Now normally I would wash this with solvent, but like I said, Gary is coming by right away here, so 
So that's clear. So the air comes from the, you see there's a hole in this primer button. Some of them have holes and some don't. So the pulse of air comes up into the carburetor and up the emulsion tube to uh, provide that pulse of gas into the, into the in intake of the car. That'll do. It's pretty good actually. Okay, and I'll just clean the front of the carburetor. It's not bad. Come with me here. It's quite good actually, except right there you can see a little bit of stuff. There. Can you see that? There we go. So now I think we're ready to take our new gasket. Just got to orientate it right. There we go. This is the breather tube. It takes <clears throat> it takes the uh, crankcase gases and burns them back into the intake. So it, oh, okay, I'm sorry, folks. There you go. So that that gasket is now on there. Just make sure it's on there. Each pin. Holding it. And then we'll put it back together again. So there's the tube. <laughs> Can you see that tube right there? And that goes on there. Outside of the throttle. it apart just like we, or put it together just like we took it apart. Let's plug it in. Gone. I'm putting the screw there and there. I'm just going to see if we get. Oh, yeah, no. Right above there, you should see a squirt of gas coming. Can you see that? There. 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 Now, we'll just quickly put that air filter back on there. I didn't take this off because it's referenced already to that particular spot, right? All right. So, everything's back together again. And just seeing that squirt of gas there, I know that it's going to uh, start with one pole. Okay, let's take you back. Let's start up. One, two, three. <laughs> it took two because I think it was flooded from being pumped on the bent on the stand. 
So anyway, tubes, thanks a lot for watching.